technology in the classrooms, we speak to Mr. Marchant about how iPads are helping pupil learning. The school holidays debate continues. We have a special report from Martha, Jade and Crystal, our school media crew. Hello and welcome to Melland High School and Cedar Mount Academy News Report. I'm Azara. Hello and I'm Tamor. Over 50 st staff and students from Melland High School attended the Inclusion, Independence and Choice show in Manchester where our girls football team took part in a football competition our reporter Usama met at Mr Beddoes to find out more. On Friday the 14th of February we were invited by Manchester City, our community partners, to take part in an event held at GMET, or it's called Manchester Central now. And it was basically a disability conference where all people went there to sell their products to help people have a more fulfilling and, and you know, life that they can do all these experiences with assistance. Um, and they wanted us to take a girls football team to take part in a tournament there to show that having a disability doesn't really restrict you in life in general. Um, and there's lots of different stalls and stalls and events and hands-on things and experiences to do. So we ended up not just taking seven girls for our football team, we took 50 pupils from Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4. It was a really good day, it was a mammoth task to organise, me and Mrs Harrison had sleepless nights trying to sort it all out, but it was well worth it on the day. And we're really allowed to say thank you to Manchester City for their support again to invite in such a fantastic event. Thank you, Mr. Bottles. Thank you. Cedar Mount students and staff celebrated World Book Day by taking part in several challenges as well as staff dressing up as their favourite characters. From the world of fiction, Miss Morgan came into the studio earlier to tell us more. We are joined today with Miss Morgan to tell us a bit about World Book Day. Can you tell us who organised World Book Day? Uh, for our school, I organised World Book Day this year uh, and I organised quite a few events to take place throughout the school day. But World Book Day is a, an event that's organised right around the world and it's not just me that organises that. And did you dress up? I did dress up, yes. I came as the Mad Hatter. Um, as the English department came as several different characters from uh, Alice in Wonderland. Have you read Alice in Wonderland, Lacey? Yeah. Good, I'm glad. So the head of English, Miss Barton, came dressed as Alice in Wonderland and she was very proud of that. Uh, Mr Kindred was uh, the Cheshire Cat and then we had Tweedledee and Tweedledum and the White Rabbit and the Queen of Hearts as well. So it was all go up in the English department. And what was the aim of World Book Day? Uh, the aim of World Book Day is to just encourage reading, to get people interested in reading again. It's something that's really important to push in our school because people are just completely not happy to read um, and it's something that we've become very aware of. So the English department in particular are really trying to encourage people to pick up a book and see that there's no kind of mystery about it, that everybody can read and it's something that can be enjoyed by everybody. And was this event very successful? I think so. Did you think so? I think so. I'm glad. Um, yeah, it went in the newsletter, put a smile on everybody's face and a lot of people have come and asked me what my favourite book is and what they can read, what I can recommend for them to read. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Thank you, Miss. And back to the studio. With Melland High School investing in 22 iPads, I went to see our head of ICT, Mr Marchant, to get the full story. My name is Mr Marchant, I'm the ICT teacher at Mellon High School. What are you using the iPads for? We got the iPads, 22 of them, uh, because we thought that it would help to improve uh, the access to the curriculum for the pupils. Uh, the way we looked at it was that uh, with pupils they all learn in lots of different ways and there's lots of different little triggers that can help them to learn something. And it can be playing with something, it can be uh, drawing a picture of it, it can be listening to it, seeing some of the video. But with an iPad, we've got all those extra things built into one. So we wanted to teach somebody something, we can show them a video, put a game on for them, and it's nice to play with, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Why are you using the iPads instead of other tablets? We use the iPads because... Uh, in education at the moment, there's a really good choice of apps. They're the programs that you put on them, 
to uh, use them basically. To, you might put a, a spelling program on it, or you might put a, a maths program on it. But for education, it just so happens that uh, there is more for the iPad than any other tablet. When are you using the iPads? I know there's one project being done by a, a teacher in the sixth form of uh, improving literacy amongst a group of students. So there's going to be six use for that. I'm going to use them for uh, making podcasts and uh, doing plays and sound effects and, and videos and oh, everything. Thank you. That's okay. Building on from Michael Gold's opinion about lengthening school days and reducing school holidays, our media crew discussed their opinions. Do you enjoy your school holidays and have a free time to spend after school? Michael Gold wants children to go to school 10 hours a day, 6 days a week for 51 weeks a year. There's a large debate going on about whether this is a good idea or not. This is still ongoing. Michael Gold complains that the structure of the school term was created in a time where we have an agricultural community. This shows he will say anything to get the attention of politicians so they think that what he's saying is correct. Both parents and students think the kids are too long to stay at school. But wouldn't we get better grades? and be better equipped for life. What do you think? Join the debate. Back to the studio. Now for an update on upcoming sports activities with our sport reporter, Michael and Miss, Mrs. Harrison, our PE coordinator for Mellon High School. I'm here with Mrs. Harrison, talk, the PE sport coordinator, talking about sports coming up next. At Mellon High School, we've got lots of more competitions coming up. As always, we like to keep everybody busy. We've got an athletics competition coming up soon where there'll be 12 students from Key Stage 3, 4 and 5 taking part in the long jump, the high jump, running races, javelin, shot put, lots of different activities. We've also got the um, sport games, which is for schools and students all across Manchester, Tameside, Rochdale, where they all meet at the Man City Stadium for a huge celebration and then they go across the city taking part in different sports. And we're representing Manchester in rugby and tennis and swimming. That's what we've got coming up soon. Thanks, Smith. Back to the studio now. It's back to Michael for his report on Tuesday Manchester Derby match. The big sports headline this week in Manchester Derby. City came out on top with a goal in the first minute by Jekyll. United you know, took a bit of time to recover, kept trying, but thanks to City's defence and Joe Hart, United couldn't break through. Even though in the second half United had a lot of possession, Jekyll showed again to make it a 2-0 to the remittances. And finally, Yaya pulled a fantastic goal out of the pocket to make it a 3-0 Easter win at Old Trafford for the Blues. Back to the studio. Congratulations to staff from Melland High who raised a fantastic amount of money from Francis House, Angela and Julie. Tell us all about it. In December, the staff from Melland High School raised £140.70 for Francis House. It's a children's hospice and they've invited us along to an open day on May the 12th. So we'll be going along with some of the students. And finally, we have the Summer Festival News. So 2014 is going to be our best summer festival yet. It's not your typical summer fair, it's our very own Glastonbury Festival. What's really exciting is we will have performers from across all the academies in Bright Futures Educational Trust. It's going to be epic! 